Hi guys, I got a little tip for you today and um, one of my subscribers had asked after watching my video on the serve and you've all seen me draw lines on the ball in that video and talking about the contact on the serve. Um, I've got Cody out here with me tonight. We're hitting some balls and you're gonna see and one of the things that we wanna look at is topspin. When we look at topspin, somehow a lot of my students I'm starting to recognize that they believe that the contact is constantly vertical. But if you're always trying to make a vertical topspin contact, that ball has to be in the right spot. Higher balls, lower balls, it's very difficult to do that. The path of your swing, the path of your racket doesn't work the same unless it's in a particular spot. And the ball really dictates that. Now, I have a ball here and it's time for the Australian Open, so it's appropriate that I get an Australian Open ball out. And these arrows. Now, this would indicate the path of your racket striking the ball, brushing the ball. So if it is, you know, if I drop my arm into armchair height, that might be where I'm striking the ball and I'm coming up vertically in that line. But anything lower than that, that angle changes. And that allows me to take a full swing on the ball. It's still going to come off the top spin. It will actually rotate a little bit. I don't want to hit it sideways and across. But I'm coming low. I'm looking at the ball as it's traveling down low and I'm starting to decide, you know what? That path is not the right path. It should be more across on an angle so that I get the full swing on the ball. If I try to brush over it here, I'm not going to get a full swing. It's very awkward. The mechanics of my body swinging it, it will not work. Now a higher ball, it's kind of interesting. So here's that armchair height. We're thinking maybe that's vertical. But if I get anything higher, now my racket path has to come at an angle cross my body this way. It's slight, and you know, and I don't want to over hit that because if I get on top of it, I'm going to drive it down. I'm still driving up. But if I try to go vertical here, I'm getting jammed in my shoulder, I'm getting jammed in my arm. A higher ball as it's bouncing, I need to be coming across it, across my body on an angle towards my body. And as it comes, if I catch a ball lower, there it is armchair height, there it is lower, I need to brush on an angle going out, vertical, in. And that's gonna allow me to continue to put the maximum amount of topspin by my technique and not get jammed in my body trying to roll over a ball that's in the wrong position. So, little tip for you today, and I want you to start paying attention to that, is think about how you're brushing the ball. It doesn't have to be vertical for everything. If it's down here, if it's up here, it doesn't need to be vertical and it shouldn't be because you're impairing your path. If you look like I'm smoking here, we were hitting a little bit and I am, it's probably about, I don't know, 30 something degrees and, uh, but we're having a great time because it's dry out here. But again, higher balls coming across, lower balls going out. And that brushing is going to really accentuate your ability to control the ball with a full swing and maintain the top spin that you're looking for. Give that a try. Watch a little bit of Cody and I hitting and see what you think. So here's a short clip of Cody hitting. And then right after you're going to see uh, myself hitting a few strokes. And stay tuned, right after you see these, I'm gonna give you a breakdown and we'll slow the video down so that you can see the path of the racket as it's um, striking the ball. So let's take a look at Cody here. We're gonna break it down. Um, we'll zip ahead to where he's gonna take his first shot with his forehand. And you're gonna see as he's setting up, this ball is really in his strike zone. And this is a ball 
Um, you can see it here. I'll draw a little line here coming across that represents, you know, it's a ball that he followed into the racket path. And he's going to be striking it more a vertical uh, topspin. He's coming uh, in that direction there that you can see with the arrow. Now, the next ball that he gets is a low ball. And this low ball, he really needs to take the path of the racket and strike the ball on an angle going out. Now, you can tell it's low because if you look at his arm here, how downward it is. And then the path of the racket, he needs to be striking it again, going on that outward path. There's the, uh, the angle with that arrow there as he's coming around. And then you're going to see a higher ball. And this higher ball, he has to strike it on an angle that's going across his body. He can't go vertical. He can't go inside out. He has to go across his body. And that really is important to maintain a full swing on the ball and the topspin. Here's another ball. It's low. You can see how he's having to set up low. It may not seem like it, but it's just low enough that the angle needs to be on that angle there to strike the ball. Now let's take a look at it in, in real time, and let's see how Cody looks uh, hitting. Let's see if you can catch that. So let's take a look at myself. Now, the first ball I missed. Um, so in the next ball, you can see that it is quite low. And you can just tell by the way that I'm going down for the ball. And the path of my racket, I can't strike that ball vertically to get topspin. I have to come inside out in my path or I will never get a full swing. The next ball here, I'm able to get up high enough where I can make a vertical path on the ball strike to create that topspin. Let's take a look in real time and see if you can see it.